Okay, trying that again with the microphone on. Thankfully, we didn't get past the title card. Cry Wolf, the final and thrilling conclusion to The Wolf Among Us. Um, I think judging from the next time on, we're going to be fighting Bloody Mary. Beyond that, who knows? Who knows? Fluffy's concerned we may kill the crooked man. I haven't decided yet. I may not even be able to. Who knows? I mean, your eyes... Faith! the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Aww. She did. <laughs> I'm not supposed to do that. That's for damn sure. Not if I can avoid it. Holly's sister, Lily. Do you even give a shit about us, the strays? That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! We're not burning the tree, Snow. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I don't know. Snow come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh, God! Bigby! This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great... To go Vampire the discuss. Masquerade Bloodlines, I'd say Bigby deals aggravated damage. Oh, good. Epistory was a lot of fun. I really liked it. It was... It was a simple premise executed very well. You've come a long way. You must be tired. And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. Please, Sheriff. Relax for a moment, will you? I'll think about it. Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really, a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. Well, gramercy me. Take a seat at the very least. Don't misunderstand the situation here. We are not friends. And you're in no position to offer me anything. On the contrary, Sheriff. And I don't wish to contradict you here, but your initiative and mine have been friendly for a long while now. Ever since I came aboard these shores. You know, Fable Town's been very accommodating of my humble ventures. Never said a bad word. That was Crane who let you do whatever you wanted. I'm not Crane. No, you're not. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. It's a nice expositional threat there. Well, Sheriff, <clears throat> for the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. 
You know why I'm here. You killed those women. What women? Faith and Lily, the girls who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Did I now? I assume by your confidence in accusing me, you must have some proof of this, yes? Some allotment of evidence. A witness, perhaps. Hmm? I know you did it. I'm sorry, Sheriff. I wish you had me dead to rights. I really do, for your own sake. But no, I didn't kill anyone. Those women. I don't relish telling you that the killings were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. Well, that'll I just help want me to sleep at night. For you and to assure you that it's over with. I already know who did it. Forgive me, Sheriff, for doubting your acumen. But who do you think committed these crimes? I hope you don't still think I did it. I have my bad habits. It wasn't but any of them. It wasn't one of them. Shit. It was Georgie, all right? Well done, Sheriff. I'm sorry I doubted you. Oh. However, like I said... I actually I'll thought it was Vivian. the matter, if you don't mind. Yeah, I killed him, so what? You should have just kept your nose where it fucking belonged. Well, it Georgie. is Georgie. Get your hands off me! Look, the fact is... George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Oh, it's just a, just a misunderstanding. Right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. That you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And then you attempt me to, to kill blame him. me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis. You're just gonna let him do this? So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? I think I'll be taking both of you. You're not taking me, you fucking ponce. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like uh, apparently, that? Apparently, yes. Fuck the one who the shit do you think you fuckers are? Get the fuck out of here! I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him! Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join uh -huh. that hole at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? Yeah, what the fuck? You're gonna make sure we all go down this shitter with you? I told you! I already told you. I'm taking both of you in, so let's go! This could have gone so well. Could it have? Really? To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? Oh shit. <laughs> Did I miss anything? The not incompetent henchman. Well, look at you all fixed up. <clears throat> really now, Georgie? That was just uncalled for. Got your number. Over here. You're more beat up than I am. You're done, Wolf. Come on, we're pretty much done here. I'd like to say it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. Boy, you guys are dumb. Hit somebody with a light. This way. <laughs> Be 
beginning of the end. Come on, Dr. Uh, oh, shit. I know. I know. Well, I mean, he kind of had it coming. Need a lot of them forget spells. No, it's it, it's fine. It's fine. What are you talking about? Totally fine. Buy the book. Buy the book. I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. Asshole. Shit. Ah! Take him off. I can't. Right, you can't. <laughs> Bitch. Run me over. Go on it. Are you sure? Do it. He's not moving. Keep going. I say it's not like I don't know where he's going. Come on. He's bleeding like a stuck pig. Oh, that's just tabloid journalism, Fluffy. Designed to sell papers. The real story is that menace Spider-Man. Come on. We can't stay here. Gee, I wonder where he Hang could on. be. I need a minute. Okay. Oh, it's a centaur dude. He was rowed hard and put up wet. That's gross. Looks like he got stabbed a little deep. You cut me too deep, bro. Shit. Yeah, that's me. Be. How you doing? I hope you'd come to your senses. I'm thinking about punching <laughs> you in the face again. <sighs> Crooked man's the one you want. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. I'm taking you in, Jordan. Let's go. <sighs> you gonna carry me? Please, Sheriff. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. He's dying. You can't seriously want to protect this guy. You know what he did. I'm not going anywhere. It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. A few we mistakes? What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. 
Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man of murdered? Of course it does. Those girls. So like... it's all my fucking fault then. I do. You mean... fucking. Ah! You're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf too. You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. Actually, she was the only one defending you. Fuck? You stupid lump of shit. I did what I had to. You can't fucking blame me for that. You didn't have to do anything. Like hell, I didn't. Look, Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. So he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. Because it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them. And then he fucking sold me out. Oh, I'm getting him You're too, don't worry. still the one who pulled the trigger. Nobody held your hand and made you go through with it. Fine. Believe what you want. I can tell you've made up your mind. Doesn't matter if it's fucking true or not. Go ahead and arrest me then. But it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. It must be so easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. But what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? At the end of the day, you're just like him. Stop complaining and take responsibility for what you did. You murdered Faith and Lily. You put those fucking ribbons around their necks. You had the power to let him go, but you chose not to. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... What would you have me do? Kill her? Georgie, don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me, if freeing Lily meant she had to die... Do you still think I had a fucking choice? Wait, how is she involved in all this? This is the original. The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off, couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet. To ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. Wait, so you've been helping this asshole? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand, nobody was supposed to die. I just put these ribbons on that cut face. people's heads off. It, it was just a stupid idea. A gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started, anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were going to be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. Then the crooked man showed up, and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... <clears throat> if you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her, then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day. Stop it. I told you. Sometimes all your options are shit. I'm not playing this game, Georgie. I won't kill her. Don't talk about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. You're right. It's your life. I know what I've done. Wait. I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with my life. I thought it would be different here. But it's all the fucking same. Vivian, I didn't mean... Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily? To all of them. Vivian, wait. Every I... day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them. What I took away from them. I look at Narissa and I hate myself. Vivian! I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Vivian, don't! Stop! Oh. Vivian! Georgie. No! Fuck! No, 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 no! 
Why'd you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian! Shit! Are you happy now? Is this what you wanted? Vivian, I didn't fucking mean it. I was just... Oh! Yeah, it gets hard in this chapter. Just, yeah, throwing that out there. Oh, fuck! Get up. Get up! Don't think so, Bigby. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Really fuck him up for me, all right? He's gonna have uh, it worse. Uh, Don't worry. <coughs> Good. Old foundry by the river, all right? Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. You wanna finish me off now? Or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one? That's what you want to do, right? You deserve worse than this, Georgie. I suppose you're right. No more games, all right. We both know how this ends. <laughs> Just make it quick. <laughs> Get fucked. What? You're just gonna leave me here? Fuck you! Piece of shit! It's not looking good on that front though, Fluffy. More important things to do. He's also a lame fable, though. He's Georgie Porgy, pudding and pie. Kissed the girls and made them cry. I can look. What am I? Oh, I can look at the limousine. Still warm. He's here, all right. So this is where they've been sending these. Bigby Wolf. The big bad wolf. <laughs> you used to be something.
they used to fear you. They'd hide anywhere their small shivering bodies would fit. gonna get you for that one. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. Ah, Bigby. I see you made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What a man. Stealing punches while my back is turned. Didn't your mother ever teach you to fight proper? How's that? <clears throat> bitch. Ah, shit. <sighs> Fucking ghosts. I wish I could place her voice. seem to be going well.
like there should be a more efficient way to do this. Convenient. She is potentially gone for good. Achievement Silver Bullet. Uh, she's Bloody Mary. Hello, Bigby. I was. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds of. Sp Give me a better reason. I won't miss next time. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Uh huh. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. Snow's not here. You're dealing with me now. That may be true, but I'd advise against defying your new boss, at least for the time being. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. The whole town will be calling for your execution. Why would you want me to bring you back there? Why don't you let me worry about that? Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. If you're not a killer, then what are you? I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. And I don't think I'm being unreasonable. If you decide to do something stupid, like murder me, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless. And I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, do you really want the truth, or do you just want to look like the hero? This is about justice. I'm the sheriff. I have to do what's right. Two people were murdered. And you know who did it. Georgie. Uh-huh. He's dead, isn't he? Yeah, just a lot. My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in, but you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? Hey! 
You're I'm a little sure old man. Will be pleased. Such a and I'm the big pup. bad wolf. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. <laughs> Shit heel. Hey, he's crookeder. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. That's for not getting the whack Ichabod in the nose. And your punishment will follow. Well, the enslaving of fables and the... the yeah, no. He's, he, he's one of those guys... He's like the kingpin in Marvel. He's not directly involved in anything super illegal Are you other than being me? the head of an organized happen? crime syndicate. Sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to... He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. Motherfucker. Oh good, Holly and Gren are here. Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. At the crooked man's place. Well, he didn't make it easy. What happened? It doesn't matter. He's here. We got him. We can talk about it later. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know... I'm just... Glad you made it back in It's all those people we've had tense negotiations with throughout the game. Up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Here, yes. here. What are you waiting for? You killed Lily. She was my sister. How could you? What do you have to say Where for yourself? Where the fuck do you get off? You think you have the right and to just do this to people? You're a fucking crook. This? You should fucking be ashamed. Shit. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The Crooked Man is charged with the murder as of I Faith and... As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yes, yeah, Sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Georgie paid for what he did. In the end, there was a fight, and he bled out from his wounds. It's over. So he's dead? That's what you're saying? I can't believe it was him. So you see, the culprit has been punished. Oh yeah, no he's need at all. That doesn't change anything. We'll oh. deal with it later, but right now, you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. I and was told I, don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? If you'd wait a moment. I'm well aware of my rights, Miss White. Fine. Go right ahead. Wait. That's not how this works. After the rest of your crimes are read through, then, you will have an opportunity to defend yourself, but only then. If you insist. Apparently she does. You are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fabletown community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Several times. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. And kidnapping Crane at gunpoint. He went willingly. Yes. At gunpoint. Thank you. Now is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Second, Bullshit! Like hell you did Stop the charade. We know you're in... Everyone just shut up for a minute. You wanted a chance to talk, well go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? The crooked man has committed crimes against this government, and most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death. Upon which your body will be committed to the witching where ground. it fucking belongs. That's so right. let's get on but with it. But we promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really going this to let is him about talk? justice. 
If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. So they're saying no we shouldn't just blindly witch hunt people. No more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. This is ridiculous. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying He's mother. such a oh, nice man. Are miss. you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with Tell it. This is fucking bullshit! Truth. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? Yeah, and your goons attacked me. Did you forget that part? They get a bit carried away sometimes. <laughs> it's true. Just, they're Boy, nippers. They do it because they want to protect me, as I've protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man just to save someone. What's he talking about? Yeah, right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. You scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that. Hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. What about Lily? She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted... that any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all in line. You forget line. it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners. I was there to look out for you. Yes, but... Wasn't I? We didn't abandon anyone. We've been trying to help them. Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. No, no. She it was Georgie. Everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that mattered, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor fables get glamours. Because I He's helped her, such a she saint. was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? She wanted my tree destroyed, but Bigby refused. What? You were gonna burn her tree? Snow, why would you want that? I know what you're doing, and it's not gonna work. You can't manipulate us or these people. We're not here to talk oh, about this. Oh, we're not? Big Bay just this means- This is important, and I'm glad it's being talked about. You know why I asked him to destroy your tree. You were working with Crane and the Crooked Man. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with a crooked man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away, but I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the Sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Maybe you haven't noticed, but we've been doing all this to protect you. 
We're trying to stop people like him. The crooked man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. And if things didn't fall exactly his way, someone would die. He took Faith and Lily from us. While we can never get them back, we can certainly punish who's responsible. They're right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over, and those girls will have their justice. Very good, very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The Sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie mother. was working for you! Bigby got a confession A confession that, that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. What are you talking about? Snow? You won't be able to talk your way out of this, crooked man. What do you mean there's no evidence? So this is the character evaluation maybe, portion of the game. He's, I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just Of need... course it's right. This man tormented all of you, for profit! Georgie Let killed him. Let me make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time. Yes? Yes. Of course. Where are you going with this? Well, by that logic, Miss White should be on trial for Tweedledum's murder. Since you know Bigby works for her. That's... He killed a man. Now, don't make him a murderer. For fuck's sake. Killing someone who's trying to kill you is hardly... They were there to retrieve Crane. You didn't need to escalate things. Me? It was them. And who sent those two freaks anyway? Bigby and I have already discussed his behavior that night. We're handling it internally. I've heard that before. How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? That was Bluebeard, not me. He was a murder suspect. Besides, <laughs> Bluebeard's like, well, yeah, duh. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employee's behavior, but I must perish for this mine. This is completely different. We I all... did not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. Isn't right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Everyone calm down. This isn't I the reason we're here. I mean, a certain level here. of privilege should be afforded to them. This is how it's always been. This is what I'm talking about. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world, and ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? He's clever. Who was I'll give him while that. They idly played in their towers, judging you, treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Well, you who could stop buying stupid shit. When it leaks to our dear citizens, who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the- Bigby? Miss White! Oh. Well, hey. How are you Excuse doing? Me, I... I wanted to make sure I had the chance ah, to say something. Ah, she's discovered Why the spell's take gone. A moment to catch your breath as What's she wanted? doing here? I'd like to... I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. She has something to say, and we're gonna listen. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I Just don't shut want... up. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. But you know what? 
Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Vivian killed herself back at the pudding and pie. I'm sorry, um, I don't think I Nerissa! Know. My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily... That's a lie! I was in the goddamn room when he did it! Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. And now I can finally say... You're an asshole. And I hope you rot at the bottom of the witching well for what you did. We know what happened. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty! Good enough for me. Me too. So that's it, right? Run down the witching well. Nah, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves! You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. What did you expect to happen here? You're getting what you deserve. Well done, then. <laughs> now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not good him. enough. Maybe there will be more if he isn't hasn't stopped. Been enough I don't give a shit. So we get rid of him. Get him out of here. We can send him Everyone, away. Everyone, listen up! Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we... This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. Look. I'm making the call. Why should you- He is the only officially appointed representative here. Right. Bigby should decide. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. I am the Are law. You sure? This isn't how it's- It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Snow. Just <sighs> do what you think is right. Yes, Sheriff. Rip his head off. Right. Teach him a fucking lesson. No. He has to die. We can lock him Just away. fucking get rid of him. Not this way. Oh. Apparently it's being decided for me. Clever girl. I'll say I didn't remember what I chose last time. There you are. I hope you all remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. Finish it, Sheriff. Please, we can End still- End it already. But it's what he wants. And you never give the bad guy what he wants. You said you had a way to keep him from hurting people. Wait, you After can't what be serious. he's done, you're just gonna put him in prison? This isn't the way, Sheriff. You're doing the right thing. Yes, there's a way. I think you're right. All right, do it. Well, yeah, never do what the bad guy wants. He wants to be a martyr. He wants to make Bigby look like shit. And damn it, I am the only one capable of making Bigby look like shit. I don't need anyone's help for that. The next day. Not what I was expecting. Morning, crooked man. He's got a sharp tongue. I thought it would be better for everyone if he parted with it. Thanks, Greenleaf. Let's just call it even. Hey, Sheriff. 
I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years <sighs> now? I think I've lost count. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. Well, I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. This fucking line. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf? Flycatcher left his keys. Is everything okay? You look... I'm... I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Good morning, Miss White. You're late. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. Now, initially, I think in my first playthrough, I decided that uh, Toad and Colin had to go to the farm. It was very depressing! So I'm glad we were finding another way around that. So I guess it's just now the crooked bird going to the farm. Better stay the hell out of my chair. Aww. Toad, what'd you do with the damn money I gave you? Oh, Garland! Jesus! We only have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake! I don't give a shit! You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. Ugh, shit! Just go grab that, would you? It's just a farm. You don't have to be so dramatic about it. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. I told her I had the money, but she didn't want to hear it. Wait, Sheriff Bigby. I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... If you could bring it to her... Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. I'm sorry, TJ, but uh, look on the bright side, okay? There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh... Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? Thanks, sir. So. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Big B! Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? How should I know? Saying goodbye? Hi. Hi. 
You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just... You need to let that go. How are you gonna move on if... Bigby, I... I know you're trying to help. But this is just something I need to do on my own. Listen, I... I came here because... I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily, and I, we had this plan. We we're gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then, Faith decided to get some... leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out... I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? Narissa, just tell me what happened. I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were just trying to protect them. I mean, you fucked up, but... Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over People with the People are scared, man. do stupid shit. But then... Oh, God. <sighs> Here. Thank you. I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you I said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. So you think that makes it okay to lie? I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? I walked her over here, and I left her. Just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them... So, that piece of fabric I found near there, that was you? Yeah. I cut my leg trying to get over the fence. So you... you started all this. I just... pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just... fade. Like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith. Or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. It's going to be different now, I promise. Things like that won't happen anymore. Not while I'm around. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her. Or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other, and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I don't really know where we stand anymore. Things are just... different. Huh. Things are always different. Look, Bigby. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. 
You listened when no one else would. You protected your friends, no matter the cost. And you brought justice to this town, finally. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I've been making a lot of mistakes lately. But you've also done a lot of good. Don't forget that. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. What hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom? They used to call me the Little Did Mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'll see you around. Cool ending, huh? They weren't 100% sure whether they were going to go one way or the other, I think, as far as the sequel. So, yeah, kind of a bummer. Uh, see, <laughs> I am in the norm about leaving people the Georgie to die. Imagine most people finished him off. People are soft. Uh, most people gave Crooked Man a trial. Uh, most people, Not most people imprisoned him. Assuming most people threw him down the well. Uh, you and... Most everyone... Cause there's no reason not to give TJ's gift to Snow. And... Well, that's going to be... There were three responses, so it's going to be about 30% for everybody. So, yeah. Fun stuff. Ah, special stats. Beast, you told him that you saw Beauty outside. Beauty, you impressed her with your detective skills. Bluebeard, you fought him after the interrogation. Colin, you gave him a drink, you helped him avoid the farm. The Crooked Man, you took him to the Witching Well and you imprisoned him. You confiscated Dee's money when he was in custody. You killed Dum. You left Georgie to die. You smashed up his place. You ripped his arm off at the Trip Trap Bar. You drank with Gran after the funeral. You made a deal with Jack. You gave her a cigarette during your final conversation. You brought her along with you to the Trip Trap. You waited for Tim, you accepted his beetle and gave it to Snow, you stood up for him when Snow wanted him to go to the farm, and you gave him money. So we were generally good to most people. Except the people we killed. So yeah, it's a fun game. I'm glad I finally got back around to it. I've been meaning to for months now, I just haven't really felt the, the, the time. Like, like, like I'm so busy. I'm not. I just don't feel like recording as often as I used to. Ugh, it gets hard with the work and stuff. So yeah, I'll leave you all with that. That was a fun thing. I'll be finishing up other things and starting new things and So yeah, make sure you like the videos and tell your friends about them and whatever else people do with YouTube videos anymore. We'll look it up. No, YouTube is here. YouTube will be here until after the credits, Fluffy. Calm your tits. We can talk afterwards. It's fine. So, yeah. No, it's a good story. I think they may be doing a sequel. I don't know. Uh, I know nothing about the comic. I know people say it's good. It's very gritty. Very gritty. Not necessarily a bad thing. Very noir. I really like the fight with Bloody Mary. And the, the huffing and puffing and blowing them all away. It's like, this seems like an inefficient way to kill this bitch. And you blow her all up against the wall. It's cute. So, good characters. Bluebeard was a cunt the entire time. Uh, I believe so as well. But hey, as long as they're doing it, that'd be cool. Be neat if they even made it, you know, some of the stuff, if they carried it over, like they did for Walking Dead 2, 3, uh, 1, 2, and 3. And the fourth Walking Dead should be out before too long. I think that's coming out later this year, maybe. 
Uh, I think fall or something. I'm pulling numbers out of my ass though, so I don't know. So I don't know. We'll have to check that out. I might be doing some. Uh, Uh, pick up a graphic novel today! Ooh, I don't know if I like the art style. Um, but yeah, no, I like how this is one of the last ones they did where they don't advertise everything in between stuff. I remember watching Two Best Friends do the Batman one, which I may do at some point if I can find it super cheap. But uh, it was like, hey, you completed that episode. You want to go buy some comics? I was like, no, I don't want to go buy comics. I want to play the next episode. Calm down. So, Oh, I know. Before we go away, let's check out some of our book of fables. Let's see, do we, do we miss achievements? What? Well, we appear to have missed an achievement in every level, and some secret achievement. Oh, unlock all the fables, earn every achievement. Oh, so is it all just finding all the fable things? Yeah, unlock all the book of fable things. So that would be things like, uh, well, in one, if we go to the prince first, and then in two. I don't know what we would do differently. Um, three was the which? Is it three or four? Which one did we go to Ichabod's place? I think that was three, maybe. Yeah, because that's the which one, I think. Yeah, that was the which one. And then four... Four, I don't know. I almost wonder if Vivian has to die. No, YouTube is still here, Fluffy. I will tell you. Calm down. I'm gonna look at stuff. See if there's anything interesting. So what we got? We got ending stuff. After fleeing the homelands... Okay. Snow White and Chart. Okay, see, this is what I was looking at. Because this is just total... This is just Big B. His whole thing. With Crane out of the picture, Mayor Cole has officially appointed Snow White as Director of Operations and Deputy Mayor's absence. Many would say this promotion's a long time coming since she was instrumental in the establishment of Fable Town and personally ensued that many fables made it to the New World Safety. She's also been doing the work of Deputy Mayor unofficially for years. Fable Town Justice, Mary's Loyalty... Began working for them. She liked working for them. The Big Bad Wolf, Bigby's true form. A giant eight-foot-tall wolf, in addition to his iconic huff-and-puff power, he's also <laughs> inherited other abilities from his father, the North Wind. For example, Bigby is able to hold his breath for an abnormally long time, making it impossible for him to drown. Ha ha. Vivian's story, The Girl with the Ribbon. The first person to bear the curse of the Purple Ribbon. Removing the ribbon would result in death, and any attempt to talk about it was thwarted by the spell on it. As time went on, she tried to live a normal life. Eventually, she married a nice man, but he was constantly wondering about the ribbon around her neck. Despite her pleas for him to leave it alone, one night while she was sleeping, he attempted to remove it. As he pulled on the edge of the string, Vivian woke and saw what her husband was doing. In a panic, she pulled away, preventing the ribbon's knot from being undone. Furious, she tried to express the severity of his actions, but her husband was unable to understand. She realized then that she couldn't trust him and decided to leave. She lived alone for the rest of her days in the homelands, preferring the safety of isolation to the risk of another betrayal. So that one, that was the girl Shaman was talking about earlier. Life on the farm, Tiny Tim, the Crooked Man. It even says Crime Lord right there. The Crooked Lair, Bluebeard's Money, Johan the Butcher, the Woodsman's Axe, Jersey Devil, Acting Deputy, Silver Bullets, the Urban Legend of Bloody Mary, the Ring of Dispel that doesn't work, the Arthurian Band. Yeah, eventually given to Lancelot by the Lady of the Lake. Neat. Glamour Tube, Auntie Greenleaf, Trip Trap, the Headless Horseman. Maybe that was because we tried to pick up the statue when we didn't get the anvil. Dr. Swinehart, Vivian's again, Troll Funeral Rites, The Little Mermaid. Clever Hans. I don't know what he's supposed to be. He's Clever Hans. Let's see. He, oh, however he often always does exactly as he's told, however he often misunderstands his instructions and ends up hurting himself or behaving oddly, as in the case of his noted fable where he threw sheep's eyes at his wife. Unsurprisingly, she left him. <laughs> Jesus. Lily... Oh, that's Lily. Okay, Jack Horner, harmless trickster. 
Witching Well Magic Mirror, the 13th floor where the witches go. Bluebeard's Mercy. After a long line of marriages resulting in mysterious disappearances, Bluebeard's last wife in the homelands was naturally suspicious of him. One day he departed on business, leaving her alone in his estate. He gave her free reign of all the rooms, but made her promise not to open the closet on the ground floor. She defied him, of course, and discovered the location of his missing wives. When Bluebeard returned, he knew he must kill her before she revealed his murderous secret. She persuaded him to allow her a moment to pray, which he reluctantly granted. This small mercy gave her brothers time to arrive and rescue her, and Bluebeard's crimes were exposed. I wonder what the hell that's from. <laughs> Grendel. Holly, the Tweedles, Prince Lawrence. Disguise spells. Mundy's, the farm, Fable Town, Buffkin. God, Colin the Pig, Mr. Toad, Beast, Beauty, the Donkey Skin Girl. They could have gotten rid of her black eye. I don't think we ever knew her without a black eye and a busted lip. But anyway, it's a fun game. There's a lot of fun stuff to it. So, yeah. Definitely good stuff. Oh, you can go back and look at player choices. So the special stats are just all that. Okay. Nope, nope. Go back. Wanted to see that one that was Lawrence or... Oh, who's your prime suspect? Yeah, they kept track of that one really well. Cool. I think this might be one of the better ones. I don't know. It felt like I could see... Sometimes I could see behind it where it's like, oh, that's what they would say no matter what I had said there. Like, uh... Like to the cop, when you can either smoke or tell her to fuck off or something else. And then it's, uh... She's like, well, that's helpful. You know, that kind of stuff. Uh, so you can see the Bioware stuff periodically. But by and large, I think it worked out really well. Anyway, I'm gonna call it here. Y'all have a good night. We'll be back in the next thing, and until then.